So if you just want to introduce yourself, just to begin. Um, my name's Rob, I'm at Southampton City College, studying BTEC National Employment and Hospitality Supervision. Mm -hmm. um, my ambitions in life is to eventually one day own my own restaurant, either in the New Forest or within Southampton. Catering has been in my family for quite a few years. I think the only way to potentially open my own business is by going off to university to do a degree in hospitality management. Um, whilst in there, there is a period of work placement which I'd like to use on the cruise ships so I can learn off the likes of Gary Rhodes, Marco Pierre White and Atoll Culture because mm -hmm. they're the new ones coming into the hospitality industry on board the cruise ships and right. I believe that is where the market lies or training set up your own business if you can learn of the masters on the cruise ship you can then take their knowledge and apply it to an area you feel that you can carve out and make your own little market and then potentially expand mm -hmm. so you've sort of seen uh, you know you know where you want to go with your career and you, you're already kind of identifying how you might get that experience and and that seems very closely aligned with being here in Southampton as well then so what what do you think um, uh, I mean, if you weren't in Southampton, for example, let's say you lived in uh, Devon, maybe, uh, so quite far from the cruise ships and quite far from London, where you've got people like Gary Rhodes, for example. So how, how would you be sort of thinking you might develop your career then? I think, well, look at what's around the West Country area. If there's nothing that suits you, potentially take whatever there is there and then m work from there move up the country towards London. Mm -hmm. London is, from what I've been told at college and from experience on various trips up to London, that is where the key to the hospitality in the industry in the UK is. If you can work in London, get the experience in London, and then draw upon that experience and take it to somewhere like Plymouth in the West Country and set up your own restaurant there and carve out there, you can then, people in about 10 years time can say, oh yeah, that was a little nobody from the West Country. He slowly worked his way up. He worked in London, he made a big name for himself in London, he's come back to his roots and that's where it all lies at the end of the day, where your roots lie. So that's that's about you know going back to your roots and yeah. remembering your roots. Um, remembering but, but who's helped you in your life yeah. to get where you are. I mean, at college, at the moment, I'd like to thank the following people. Steve Batten, the head of the faculty assistant head of faculty of the professional school of hospitality tourism he's been a great rock he's been there supporting me in all my ways i'd like to also thank jonathan flu john flu because he's just possibly one of the best chefs i've had the opportunity to work along he was from london originally his stamping ground he experimented with loads of different things and then he found his potential in the hospitality market Two other people like to, well, three other people. I'd like to thank David Hancock, my former, one of my former tutors, because he used to work on the cruise ships, and he's given me the insight into the cruise ships that I would like. I'd also like it a bit further, which I need to keep him sweet. I'd also like to thank Georgina Vintner, the restaurant, one of the restaurant managers. She's a bit of a brass, but she comes across. Once you melt her heart, she's fun. She can point you in the right direction. She can give you the pinch of advice. And the last person I'd have thanked is the current owner of Oxford's Brasserie, Marie Gizlionzoni. I hope I pronounced her name correctly, because she's a part-time lecturer at college, and she has she knows the potential trends and the current trends in the hospitality industry market by owning Oxford's Brasserie. And all of them, together, they're giving me the advice I need to go off to university and do, set up my own business. A couple of years ago, I had no interest in university whatsoever. Mm. But thanks to those people, I've now realised, yeah, make yourself different. Go out, stand up, say, look, I was a nobody from Marchwood, outside of Hampton. I've been to university, I've worked on the cruise ships, I've worked along Michelin starred chefs and restaurateurs. I've now come back to my roots and I have a reputation. Don't mess with me. That's great. Thank you.